Yes people and welcome back to AJ Cars and welcome back to another video on the BMW E46 Drift Project. Now if you watched the last video we bought a new car, this car. Now it needs a lot of work and in that video I did explain everything they needed doing. We also put a new interior, well not a new interior but it's an interior that we put in because it was so loud in there. It was fully stripped out, drift car, full blown. So. We put an interior in it and there is a few other things that needed to go on it but we didn't get a chance to put them on so we're doing it in this video today but i also did say in that video there was a few things that needed sorted on this car as well we're gonna go through a few of them so here she is in all her glory now what i did say was there was plenty of dents all around this car now they have been sorted there was dents on this door here that has been sorted there was a big dent here that has gone now this we can't fix because that needs a full-blown repair that needs filler fiberglass whatever it needs that is going to get done at some point there was another one here and here they're all gone you can't see them anymore the ones at the tower gate they got sorted there was one here which you cannot see anymore because it's gone there's one down here gone the dent man did an amazing job on that but today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be sorting this out now we have ambers on this and i really like the ambers we also have the same amber indicators here so what we're going to do is we're going to fit the new indicators on the front and we also have new tail lights because the tail lights on this are the same as the fronts they are amber now i'm not i know it matches and it looks okay because they are amber on the front but i personally don't like them orange and red rear lights i prefer this style the white and the red and luckily the guy i bought the interior off had these lights so they're going to be going on as well so in the last video we did say i did still need a few more things for the interior and the rear and we still need a lot of stuff i need to order them soon we need belts we need top covers for the upholstery we need headrests we need bolts and fixings for the parcel shelf and the seats are loose because they have no brackets underneath so we need all of that as well, but we will get onto that. They will come on order. We also need, which I forgot to mention, the sunroof. The motor is broken, so I need to order a motor and that will be fitted at some point as well. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna get this car home. I'm gonna start fitting these new lights. you're wondering if the golf is still here it is it's just sat here barely gets driven the poor thing and it's filthy oh god jesus i'm deck though jeez so what i'm doing here is i'm going to take the light pack off the back it's just on one clip what you'll find then is three 10 mils you want to take them three 10 mils out and give the light a little wiggle and it should pop out just like that once you've done that pop your new light back in very simple put the three 10 mils back on and add your light pack to the back and it's as simple as that. So the same process again, take the pack off the back off that one clip, you'll find another three 10 mils, take them three 10 mils out, give your light a little bit of a wiggle and it'll pop out. Do all of that in reverse, pop your light back in, put the three 10 mils in and pop your pack back on. So the rears are in, however, I have noticed they're a lot clearer than these, so I think they're just gonna need a polish, but I think that look way better. Let me know what you guys think. Do you prefer the other ones or do you prefer these? So I have just given them a quick clean because I think it was dirt on the top, but that looks a bit better. So I'll just pop the bonnet to have a look at these lights. Now there is some funky wiring going on here. What I've just noticed, if you look at the back of this, there's a lot, I mean, I don't have a clue what this is. It's come from somewhere, but I have noticed this and this temperature gate, temperature sensor so this is supposed to sit at the bottom it'll be around here somewhere so when the air goes in it tells you how cold or hot it is outside now he's rerouted it up here now, and he's slotted it there now i can only assume that is so he knows the temperature of his engine when he's booting that round track correct me if i'm wrong someone tell me another reason why that would be there Hmm. So I've been studying this for a little bit. I've been pulling on it a little bit and I've got this here. This is the other side. Now, hold on. These clips here, one goes down. That, I think this one here is the only one that holds it on. It just slides in. Sorry for the cars. Um, and that's basically 
about here, but it's facing upwards, so I can't like pry it from the top. But I thought you could get in from the hole here, but you can't now. What I think you're gonna have to do is take the headlight out. Now the headlight's easy, I've took the top two out here. There's one, two eight mils. There's one just here, and there's another one, if you can see, just there. This one has actually been taken out and left out because he's got Xenons in this. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that eight mil out there, and this headlight should pop out, and then that should so be pretty easy to take The headlight is near enough out. I don't really need it fully out because I can't access it in here. This, oh God, that there is the tab. Now. If you do want to get the headlights out in future, your front bumper would have to come off because it catches here. You can't lift it past it because the pack's quite big on the back. So I can quickly change that now and then I'll do the same. Actually, I don't think I need to actually on the other side. I might just be able to slip it in. We'll try. Right. We'll get this one changed because I want both brand new ones. So that one will go in the other side. I'll put the other one on now. I'll put this back up and we'll see how... I mean, they are pretty... I don't know if these... They are identical. Even the tags on the bottom. These are non-genuine, but they look exactly the same. And they are genuine as well. Mint. So there is the new one. For a non-genuine part, they fit perfectly, so I wouldn't even, if you, unless you want genuine, yeah, but non-genuine is perfectly fine. They fit perfectly. I've moved the headlight over slightly so it fits in that gap a bit better as well, because rolled wings have been pulled out a lot. So, and what I didn't say is this piece here, this little, hockey puck hockey stick sort of oh, that's, that's what they call it that needs to come out just the extra clearance on the headlight so quick easy 10 minute job really bolt 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 pop this off and then that just unclips so yeah you can do this on your driveway if you wanted to nice easy job let's so go on to the next one this side so lucky for me i had to do the same thing take this um hockey stick section out and then I was lucky enough to because it had already fell out. It literally just slipped in. I've also <laughs> attempted to bend this wing back in so it looked a little bit prettier because that was literally folded back. So it actually sits flush now, which is okay. Obviously, these wings are getting binned anyway. We're getting new ones, but for the time being, <coughs> it fits. Okay, and like I said, non-genuine parts. These look really good and they fit perfectly. So I'm pretty happy with that. So there we have it, indicators are in. Also I've plugged in these fog lights because they were unplugged. I don't actually know why, but... SL550. Yeah, they look way better. Fog lights are now plugged in because the wires are just hanging loose because I don't know why, it's just... It's... Who is that SL2? Wow, SL is loud. They're back in, they both look way better. Now that side actually has an indicator. These fog lights are now plugged in and we also have the rear lights in. Way better. So people, that is it for today. We have the new lights in. I think they look 10 times better. Let me know what you think in the comments. But that is another piece of the puzzle that we have accomplished with this car. Now, onto many more. Next week's video, probably some more stuff like this, fitting new things, rectifying stuff. So stay tuned for that. And obviously, we're going to get onto some more tasteful things eventually. But I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Stay tuned for more videos like this. And I'll see you guys in the next one.